and look. Um, Hello? No, I don't want insurance. And no, we did not have an accident last week. Also, we're not a pet rescue service, thanks very much. Gibson, it's me, your mother. Oh, hi mum. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. Is everything all right? Just want to make sure that you're eating and sleeping properly. Yes, mum. I had a roast dinner last night and I had, I had six hours sleep as well. You had a haircut yet? You shaved your beard? No, mum. I've not had my haircut. And I've not shaved either. I've not had time. Oh, you really need to look after yourself, son. Oh, don't stress, Mum. We're working on a really big case just now, and I've got quite a lot of work to do. Anyway, I really need to get back to it. I'm just about to crack this code. I'll call you later, OK? OK, son. All right. Bye, Mum. Bye for now. See you, bye. Bye, 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 bye. She calls at least three times a week to make sure I'm all right. Gibson? Have you bypassed that H-Drive yet and unencrypted that folder? Uh, yeah, I'm nearly there, boss. <sighs> I couldn't sleep last night, Gibson, for thinking about this case. Yeah? Stephanie, aged eight, wanted to know why people still celebrate Easter after all these years. And I can't help but wonder, why? If it's all about Jesus, then, what exactly are they celebrating? I mean, he died. He's gone. I just can't figure it out, Gibson. I know what you mean, boss. But hopefully, this folder will give us a much better idea of what's actually going on. Yes, hopefully. Are you nearly there yet? I think so, boss. Just uh, clickety-click here and uh, recoding there. And... Voila! Ha! It worked, boss! I'm in! Whoa! Bravo, Gibson, bravo! So, what's in the folder? Uh, well, it looks like three separate video files, boss. Three eyewitness accounts of Jesus after his death? Yep. Ah, oh, we need to watch these right now. Where shall we start? Uh, how about we take them in the order that they happened? And the first one is from Mary, a friend, a close friend of Jesus. Here we go. That's it. It's over. He's dead. I've just seen Joseph of Arimathea place Jesus into the tomb. It's over. But yeah, it can't be over. I know people might think I'm in denial, but they didn't know him like I knew him. Power and authority. He had power over nature. He had the power to, to mend the most broken of people. I was one of them. I believed that he was the son of God. I believed that he had power over death. can't be over. There's got to be something more. There has to be something more. Oh, well, that makes sense, I guess. She watched Jesus being placed in the tomb. Yeah, but what about all the other stuff she said, boss? I'm with Mary on this one. I just can't shake the feeling that there's something much bigger happening here. Well, you know what they say about historical mysteries, Gibson? Uh, no, boss. What did they say? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I was kind of hoping you would. I mean, well, this has all just become a little bit awkward now. Mm -hmm. uh, let's play the next video, Gibson. You got it, boss. Uh, this one is from Thomas, one of Jesus' disciples and it's dated a few days later. Here we go. Am I literally the only sane person left? First of all, Mary comes in insisting that she's seen Jesus alive again, even though it's days after she'd seen Joseph of Arimathea place his body in the tomb. 
and now everybody else is saying the same thing, that he's appeared to them, he's spoken with them, he's even eaten with them. Now, look, I know we've all been through a pretty horrendous time, losing our best friend, our teacher, and all of that, but this is not helping things. I'm a rational guy. I need to see the evidence. Show me the scars on his hand where the spear went into his side. Then I'll believe. But not until then. Thomas! No, look, I'm not discussing... No. It can't, it can't be. I don't believe it. I can't. Why do they always stop at the crucial moment? Play the next one, Gibson. Quick, before the H drive changes its mind. Okay, and boss. we'll never sleep again. Okay, boss, okay, boss. Uh, this is Cleopas. Uh, and, oh, Cleopas. That's a cool name, boss. Imagine being called Cleopas. <laughs> Gibson, play the video. Uh, y yes, boss. He's alive. He really is alive. I couldn't believe it at first when Mary came in shouting that Jesus was alive. Nobody could. But it all makes sense now. He travelled alongside my friend and I for ages. As we walked along the road, he walked us through the Bible and explained why the Messiah, God's Son, had to die. It all became clear at last. He died so that we could live with God forever. Nothing else could have done that. Only a perfect man taking the punishment that we deserve. The man the Bible had been pointing to all along. Jesus. We didn't recognize him until he had some food with us. And then he was gone. Like there one minute, gone the next. We had walked and talked with the risen Jesus. He defeated evil, sin and even death on the cross. He turned the greatest tragedy in history into the greatest victory. What a story. What a guy. We just have to tell everybody. Jesus is alive. Whoa. Well, that's a story. No wonder the H drive was struggling to process all of this. I mean, I mean, is it even history? What do you mean? Of course it's history. But it's more than history, boss. People are still spreading the news that Jesus is alive. And he's still alive. Alive forever. History is about the past. This is about the past, present and the future. You're absolutely right there, Gibson. Boy, have we got something to report to Stephanie, aged eight. It's going to blow her mind. <laughs> it's blowing my mind, if I'm honest, boss. Uh, permission to have a power nap? Permission granted, Gibson. Thanks, boss. Um, but first off, I think we should have a celebratory cup of tea. Just what I was thinking. Right then, time to put the kettle on. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Quiz Time with Bob. My name's Bob, and this is my Quiz Time. <laughs> As you can see, we've picked a forest scene for today. Ah, I do love a... I do love a forest walk. <laughs> Let's just hope there's no mishaps like last time. <laughs> 10 questions. I'll flash the questions up on the screen, give you 10 seconds, and then show you the answer. Are you ready? Here we go. Quiz time with Bob. Hey. Did you just see that? Was it? Did you just? Was it? Is that just? Oh. Must be my imagination. Okay, right, uh, here we go. Quiz time with Bob. Question uh, Right, there was definitely something there that time, wasn't there? Seriously, did, did anybody see it? Did you, did you? Uh, oh, right, let's just go on with it. Here we go. Question one. Gibson's mum asked him if he'd cut his what? 10 seconds, go! Nice one. Good job. Right, here we go. Question two. Who
Who did Mary see putting Jesus' body into the tomb? 10 seconds, go! Awesome stuff, everyone. Right, here we go. Question three. Who was the second eyewitness video from? <laughs> 10 seconds. Go. All right, then. Here we go. Question four. What evidence did Thomas need to see in order for him to believe that Jesus was alive? Oh, this is a tough one. 10 seconds, go. Oh, great job, guys. Right, here we go, question five. What were the first two words that Cleopas spoke on his eyewitness video? 10 seconds, go! Amazing, right here we go, question six. Gibson stated that Jesus' death and rising again affects the past, present, and what? Oh, 10 seconds, go! All right then, question seven, a nice easy one for you. How old is Stephanie? <laughs> 10 seconds, go! Cool, did you get that one? That was quite easy, wasn't it? Right, question eight, here we go. Gibson asked the boss for permission to do what? 10 seconds, go. All right then, two more to go. Here we go, question nine. TJ was going to put what on at the end of their investigation? Oh, 10 seconds, go. All right then, here we go, the final question. Where can you read about Jesus dying on the cross and rising to life again? Oh, 10 seconds, go! Awesome! Congratulations, everybody. I would love to know how you got on this time. I know last week some people got 10 out of 10. <laughs> I'm pretty... I'm... Are you sure there isn't anything behind? Are you sure there wasn't... I'm pretty sure there was stuff behind... Oh, right. I'm going to go up that path and find out what was behind me that whole time. Oh, good job, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye! the
He conquered death and hell, so he's not here. 